Hey everyone, Jeff from the Juju UI engineering team here, announcing the latest major release of the Juju GUI 2.1.0. This version is the first version of the GUI to support the 2.0 version of Juju. It also brings with it a new user profile page that allows users to more easily manage multiple models, along with the ability to create new models from your controller. The GUI will work on both Juju 1 and Juju 2 in the same charm and code base. So regardless of the version you're using, you can still deploy the GUI using the same Juju deploy Juju dash GUI command. So let's log into this Juju 2 controller and I can show you some of the new features. The big feature announcement here is that this version works with Juju 2, but because Juju 2 is still in beta, this integration is as well. Uh, if you have any issues using the GUI with Juju 2, please help us by filing a bug so that we can be sure it's fixed before the official Juju 2 release. Another big feature that we added was the user profile page where you can see your models, bundles, and charms. Uh, you can see here that right now it's only showing the single model, so let's first log into the Juju Charm Store to be able to fetch my charms and bundles. Okay, now that we have that, let's grab the Ghost Charm here and deploy it to our Juju 2 model. For those who are including code snippets in their Charm README, the Charm Details pages will now display those snippets using syntax highlighting if you've written your README using GitHub flavored markdown. Uh, so now while that's spinning up, I'm going to create another model on our controller to deploy a small collection of charms. Another highly requested feature is the ability to drag and drop units that have already been placed on machines but aren't yet deployed. So now you can simply click and drag on any unit icon which still has the blue uncommitted ring and move it to another machine. As that's deploying, you can see that the units in the machine view now indicate their statuses, just like it does in the inspector. But from here, you can tell exactly which unit may be pending or an error and exactly which machine that unit is on. While this deploys, let's switch back to the other model and check on it. So as you can see here, you can easily switch between models by simply selecting them from the model switcher dropdown list or by viewing them in your profile so you can keep workloads easily separated into a collection of models. So that's the Juju GUI 2.1 release. Uh, we'd love to hear some feedback about what you think about this release so you can file any issues or feedback on our GitHub repository and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching.